वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू डेटा इंटीग्रेशन ट्यूटोरियल फोर इन प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव सीन हाउ टू रीड इनपुट सी एस पी डेटा फाइल एंड लोड इन टू टारगेट टेबल इन टूडे सेशन वी विल सी हाउ टू राइट डेटा इन टू टेक्स फाइल इन फर्स्ट सिनारियो वी विल सी हाउ टू राइट सी एस पी डेटा टू आउटपुट टेक्स फाइल so in this case we will read csv input data file that is customer we will write this data to target customer that is a text file output in scenario 2 we will see how to write invalid data to exception table or a dummy target table and valid data to a target customer table before going to actual scenario we will see our input data file so this is our input data file customers.txt with columns as id name salary and city okay let's create transformation for our scenario 1 go to file new transformations you need csv input file to read your input and next thing you need a text file output to write data into a text file you need to link this input to output main output step as we have seen in our previous tutorial customers file name this is input source file also you can select the location of your directory delimiter of your source file it are row present you can get fields in your source file click okay so customers is ready now we will see the text file output properties give a step name output customers this is the name of your target file o underscore customers you can also browse or select your file wherever you will see this dollar symbol you can provide variables when you will press control space it will give a list of variables or also you can create your own user defined variables and you can use that next is create parent folder if there is no extension of your output file dot txt or dot dat so we also have other options like include step number in your file name include partition number in your file name we'll see these parameters once you are done with this you can click on show file names it will show your output customers dot txt file if you click on include time in file name and then you will click on show file names so this is the time at which you are creating your text file it will in include the time similarly if you want to add date in your file name you can click on include date in file name so this will so this will include date in your text file also you can provide your user defined date time format here so it will give that format as a file name so for now we'll create just o.customers.txt the next thing go to content 
the first property is append if you click on this property every time you will execute your transformation it will paint the data into a file otherwise it will create a new file it will override existing file separator of your target file so in this case i didn't take 5 delimiter so i want header so first row will be the header with all the column name so you, you can add footer if you want so whatever you will add in this field it will be appended at the end of your target file so you can write end of file which will work as your footer if you want so we'll write it end of file next thing you need to get the fields click on get fields so these are the field names coming from your input from where you have linked your step here you are having options if you want to trim any of your column so here we'll trim the name both left and right trim also for city will trim both also you can set the length of your columns also you can add new columns but for now we'll go with these four columns click on okay so your output customer step is ready next step is to save the transformation right to file give a name and save now we will execute the transformation we will launch it so you can see this is the source data total seven rows are there and this is my output file so all the data is written to your target text file okay so file has not generated as uh, we have not provided the path so we will use inbuilt parameter for this one control space we will use internal transformation file name directory and then customers okay this is my target file name directory where the file will be created we'll just launch the transformation this is completed we'll see file is generated or not so you can see output customers file is generated so this is my target file you can see all the records are populated with 5 delimiter and if you remember we have added end of file in the property so this got printed at the end of your file this is how you can create your text file as a target okay this is how we load our target text file so we'll see scenario 2 in our next session how to write exceptions into exception file and valid data to output customers thanks for watching please like subscribe for more videos on data integration